What is up, new Boston fans? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial on hand. And this time around, we're going to learn how to replace colors using the replace color adjustment. Now, the replace color lets you basically pick a color and it'll change that color, and you can like move around so that it encompasses more colors and things like that. And if I like, for example, I don't want this uh, black section here to be black, I want it to be green, you can change that. So it's really handy and cool. And um, I'll show you some ways that you can do it. So first things first, let's go ahead, go ahead and open up an image and um, turn it into a layer. Let's go to image and we're going to go to adjustments. We're going to go to replace color. Now, right now, everything is selected. Um, we've got uh, a couple options here going on. And the main option we want to do right now is click on the eyedropper here and you're gonna go ahead and select a color. So I'll select this black for now. And that color has been selected and you can see basically your selection in this uh, preview panel here. And if you lower the fuzziness, it's going to just show more of that color selection. And when you increase the fuzziness here, it's going to make a broader range of your selection. So you can use these uh, eyedropper tools, this plus here, to add more color. So if I click on the plus and just click on the color, you can add more colors that you want to add in. And um, this eyedropper tool uh, subtracts colors that you might not want to have in there. So if there's like, I don't know, if you if there's like some like a, a light gray or something like that in there you want that out just use this minus eyedropper tool to get that out of there so um and it's also it's based on color it's not based on what you're doing so if i wanna if i'm trying to adjust this color right here you can see that these spatulas and the spoon over here are going to get adjusted too because they're the same color as well as the mickey mouse ears up here that bucky has on so let's uh I'm just gonna click over here on the spatula and I'll show you what's going on. You can see it took away like some of the spatula colors and it also took away some of the color within the image here. And you can tell that by in your selection here, whatever is black is not selected, whatever is white is selected. And the brightness it of what is white is how much of it is selected. So I'll show you what's going on here. So there's also one more thing here called a localized color clusters and you check that box if you want to limit your color selection to a specific area um, using selection using the selection eyedroppers or to select add or subtract colors so if you don't have this selected then um, it's going to you can't really use these that as well so let's go ahead and replace the color now this is where you replace the color down here. So click on this uh, color box. Let's replace it with like um, a yellow. And we'll hit OK. Now you can see the hue here. We need to uh, mess with that. Well, it just changed the color a lot. Looks like yellow probably wasn't the best choice. You can see all this stuff that's uh, been added within. and this brings up one of the problems when you're trying to mess uh, with a replace color. You get all these other things that are colored along with it, like this dog cage. Um, I guess there were some shadows in the in between the legs here, and um, it didn't. It's kind of blocky and everything, so it's not looking too great. Mess with the fuzziness, it gets even more things. And so I'm going to show you like a way that you can do this better. And to be really quick, I'm just gonna do it on this uh, wall up here. So I'm gonna hit cancel real quick. So none of that took. So none of that really took place. We um, weren't able to change the colors really well because everything was getting selected. So what you want to do is make a selection. And so come over here, and I've got the uh, polygonal lasso tool here that I'm gonna pick. And I'm just gonna follow these right here. and just make like a selection around this area. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go to my adjustments again and go to replace color. You can see now that pretty much only 
well, only what's selected now shows up in our selection thing here. So you can see in the image, if I just turn on image, you can see that it's definitely the red. So I'm going to click on and sample the red color. And that is the color now that's being selected. Let's check our selection. Yep, pretty good. Now what do we want to replace this with? Maybe I want to replace it with a blue. See? And uh, now the blue is getting replaced. Now we might need to add some uh, the, more of the color here. Let's go to our image. Add that stuff. So you kind of just mess around with it and kind of click around, mess with the hues. So you here's some saturation added to it. And hit OK. And now we have a blue cupboard. So that's how you use this tool. Um, uh, replacing the color adjustment is very handy if you need to do it. Use selections to get greater um, control over the tool. So if you really want, if you really wanted to take the time, use the magnetic lasso tool or the lasso tool and just draw around the body here. If you just want to change out the, uh, um, the like the midsection here of the black. And I like to. I just wanted to keep the tutorial short and not show a lot of this me making selections or whatever. So I just went over here and did the cupboard, and you can see how well the tool works. So it's pretty cool. And uh, that's gonna be it on how to use this uh, image adjustment. So thanks for watching it, and uh, this will be a pretty cool tool that you guys can use later on when you when someone doesn't like the color of something and you need to change it for them. Anyways, have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later.